In this video, we answer the question if you should get your instrument rating a technically advanced aircraft, you'll be surprised by the answer. Hey folks, welcome to Aviation Careers Podcast, another video here at Expert Aviator on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to answer your questions. Don't forget you can write in to us at feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com or you can ask a question right below here on the video. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time there's a new video that comes out. Hopefully you're enjoying these questions. Uh, today we have a question from a listener who wrote into feedback at Aviation Careers Podcast. It says, uh, my question for you today is on getting my instrument rating. I'm nearly where I need to be on cross country hours to start on my instrument rating now. Is it worth the money in the long run to get my instrument rating in a technically advanced aircraft versus uh, hiring an instructor and getting the rating done in an airplane I have access to right now? Obviously paying the extra for the rental of the technically advanced aircraft would slow me down as far as hours that I could build. But is that worth having the technically advanced aircraft time as far as an airline job in the future? Thank you very much. Well, again, you can write in feedback at Aviation Careers Podcast. We really appreciate that question from our listener. Uh, as far as a technically advanced aircraft, of course, it has to have a PFD and MFD and uh, a two-axis autopilot. There's a little more to it, but uh, you can look at the actual requirements below in the show notes. But in general, uh, normally I would say, yes, you should get your rating in a technically advanced aircraft. Why is that? Well, we're having a lot of challenges lately, especially in training with people that don't know how to fly like a technically advanced aircraft or they're having issues in, quote unquote, the glass cockpit, transitioning from the traditional steam gauges and moving into the glass cockpit. And you're seeing a, a few different, uh, well, training challenges, shall we say, uh, possibly training failures within the airline. So it's good to get that time in a glass cockpit. Now, yours is a little bit different question. Yours actually is talking about possibly having a lot more money invested, almost double the amount of money to get the technically advanced aircraft time. Well, I would say in your case, no. Amazingly enough, I mean, the most important thing is flight time and also getting your rating. Once you get your rating, I would say yes, get yourself in a technically advanced aircraft so that you can get that glass time. You'll have plenty of opportunity, especially if, if you're looking at this from a career standpoint, you'll definitely need to start getting some of that time. What I would say is this, start looking at a flight school that actually has a technically advanced aircraft that you can use to build time so that you can have all that glass time when you do go to the airlines to apply. Again, this is for people that uh, have some challenges moving from the traditional gauges to the technically advanced aircraft or the glass cockpit. Uh, if, you, if you can, get some time in a simulator, etc. But in your specific case, I would say probably best idea is to save the money to use it for other ratings and building time so that you can go out and rent that technically advanced aircraft there. Don't forget, you can also write in at feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. You can put in the comments in the below, and we'd really appreciate you and also what you're doing right now. I know these are trying times, uh, but we'll get through this together. The most important thing is building hours, and building an hour is the type of time that you need to get hired with an airline, and that's always been the case. No matter if we're in tough times or in good times, you need to build quality time when you're moving forward in your career. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so you get notified each time. And if you have questions, feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. This has been a question of the week, and I am Carl Valeri with Aviation Careers Podcast.